Welcome to the world of building design. This is Revit MEP sprinkler system design tutorial uh, number nine. So in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to place some sprinkler head in your floor plan and specifically on the uh, ceiling of a floor plan. So I would like to focus on this area on the right hand side between this grid line uh, E and C where we want to place some of the, some of the sprinkler heads. Um, I'm going to put some um, vertical and some horizontal sprinkler head in here. So one other thing I would like to do is that to, to understand what is the height of this ceiling. So uh, to do that, we had the level one, as you remember, we already named all these spaces, but now I would like to go to the ceiling plan level one. So I'm going to double click on the ceiling plan level one in this area, remember that when we hover on every of this space, this cross line shows that we have already determined and defined the space for all of this, uh, you know, areas with the uh, with the walls that are bonding the rooms. So, um, so first thing I want to do is I want to go to annotative tab or annotate command up there, and then I'm going to use the um, this command uh, that is called spot ele elevation. So I'm going to click on the spot elevation, and then once you're going to into your, you know, floor plan in your uh, ceiling level plan, you can click, and then you can extend, and then you can create an elevation here. The good thing about this annotation is that this shows the ceiling height 2438 millimeter that is the ceiling height from the floor and if for any reason anything changes the ceiling height change or anything change this number is automatically updated so in order to bring some sprinkler head i would like to visit the system tab on the top and then i'm going to go to plumbing section where the all the plumbing uh, information is here where my mouse is hovering. We have a command called a sprinkler. I'm going to hit on the sprinkler. And then when I go to the property of the sprinkler, you see that there are a bunch of different type of sprinkler system or a sprinkler head uh, types are already loaded uh, as their family. We have the sprinkler dry horizontal sidewall. We have a sprinkler dry pendant hosted which is uh, on the ceiling you put we have a sprinkler horizontal sidewall hosted and then we have a sprinkler pendant hosted remember the dry type is different than the this um, sprinkler head regular without any anything in here it it means that when you have a dry type it's it's for areas where the temperature is potentially below uh, freezing point so we don't use that for the interior spaces so we're going to leave uh, the dry type sprinkler heads alone we're going to focus on this uh, sprinkler pendant hosted so i'm going to select a half inch or 15 millimeter pendant sprinkler head well, we want to show it in our ceiling plan I'm going to select that and i'm going to come to here Remember, when we come here, we don't see the sprinkler head because we need to determine the type of placement. So as you can see, there are two options here. You can go either with place on face or place on the work plane. In this case, we are going to select place on face, which is the face of our ceiling, um, ceiling, um, you know, um, ceiling, um, actually acoustic ceiling, ceiling panel. So I'm going to hover around here. Maybe I'm going to select a point, say in between here. You can select a point, or you can go right in between and then uh, use the toggle bar, and or you can do moving. So it's up to you how you want to regulate that. If I place it in here, I can just highlight it and then nudge it on the right or left hand side by the arrow key. So I'm going to. I'm going to hit on the arrow key and nudge it to the side and then I'm going to hit downwards so I'm going to bring it to the middle. 
While I'm on this sprinkler uh, head highlighted, I right click and then I'm going to uh, create similar. And then I'm going to select again place on face. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from the center of the previous one and come all the way down. You see there is a dash line showing that <clears throat> I'm in the same alignment of the other sprinkler head on the top. So I'm going to locate it in here, skip a couple of times, and then let's have a look at one of the sprinkler heads and see how it looks like. So I'm going to cut a section, and I go to the section, I got to cut a section here. Sorry, I think we have to do it again. Click, and then I'm going to decrease the, you know, the view range. I'm going to double click on the arrow in here and come down to the level one so as you can see let's go to fine okay as you can see our sprinkler head is placed in here below the ceiling ceiling panel so that's good that way I'm going to go back to ceiling plan double click I'm going to hold the control button select this sprinkler head and the other sprinkler head and once the both are highlighted yellow or it's selected i'm going to go with the copy command i'm going to go copy command and i have the multiple already check marked i keep it as it is and i'm going to select this point as my bench bench point or bench reference I select that point and then i'm going to this point you see that there is a rectangle dash line rectangle is moving around it basically shows where i'm going to place the new sprinkler heads i'm going to go to this location and then place the two new sprinkler heads skip a couple of times so basically we put four sprinkler heads here and i'm going to basically select all of these four sprinkler heads I'm going to use the copy button again and select this point as a benchmark bring it all the way in here and copy on the left room as well I would like to also put some horizontal uh, sorry actually some vertical uh, sprinkler head so I'm going to go to the sprinkler head again on the top and come to property going back to the horizontal sidewall the sprinkler head I'm going to select a 15 millimeter horizontal sidewall and you see the symbol is now different but I'm going to select two point here one point and actually it's a vertical face so it's okay I'm going to put it on the vertical face I'm going to select the second point I would like to have a look at this two a horizontal sidewall sprinkler head so I'm going to cut another section here for this two line and decrease the view range and then double click to see if we can see that so as you can see we have the two sprinkler head horizontal one is showing up right here going back to ceiling plan so this is a very simple step on how we put some sprinkler head in our ceiling plan uh, on the floor plan on the ceiling levels. So pretty simple, uh, depending on the type of a sprinkler head you would like to use, you can place them and, uh, and demonstrate this uh, sprinkler heads. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe in this channel of the World of Building Design and uh, press on the notification button uh, to see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted. Thank you.